Hey guys, Abel here from Law Enforcement. Hey, just wanted to give you guys an update. I've been doing very busy. You guys can see it's snow. I didn't do anything today because everything melted on the street and the sidewalks, temperature wise. Um, but things are moving along. You know, I got to buy two ski steers. I got to buy um, more snow blowers and things like that for the winter. Um, you, I'll show you guys a video later on. Other things all together, but I lately I just bought this. Yep, a school bus. I bought a school bus just for the fact that I have to carry the guy for shoveling and, and snow blowers and all that stuff, and they don't fit in pickup trucks. I got six guys, and I had to get another crew for six guys more. But it's pretty simple, you know. Um, I just got it, and I can show you guys, you know, inside. I took the three seats out so you can you can um, put all the blowers in the back, um, put all the shovels, put tools, things that I, you know, basically need for a storm. I'm going to try to put like a welding machine here and have everything compacted in here. Plus, I kept some of the seats so I can put at least I can fit eight guys here plus the driver, which is making nine. And then you don't have to use it as a CDL because if you have more than 10 passengers, it becomes a CDL here in the state of Wisconsin. I don't know the other states, but let me know what you guys think. This is my rig. You know, a lot of the guys that um, they do snow removal, they have these massive trucks with a bed in the back and you can only feel like three guys in the front of the truck. But this one, at least you can fit all the guys in there. And eventually, the I will have probably three buses later in the future. That's my goal. And probably have one of those big school buses to put big machinery. A uh, big machine for sidewalk. This is always going to be just for for uh, for sidewalks. That's the whole purpose of it. And carry all the toys for winter. But these are the things that you need to get. How to find a school bus. It's very simple. You check on Craigslist and everywhere you can and check prices. And ultimately, I found a school bus um, company that retired their buses after so many miles. So after after 15 years and after 15 years, they decided to get rid of them um, because because of their contract. So they have to get rid of that really cheap. So I only pay twenty nine hundred dollars for this bus and it hardly has stuff, you know, but these are the things that you have to really uh, fine anywhere and this is a four uh, I will literally don't get four because I don't really know how to work with them but it has a 7.3 uh, diesel engine which is the better one instead of the 6.0 um, they, they have massive problem with those kind of motor but other than that you know guys um, we painted it it was yellow like all the buses uh, we took the stop sign out and we took the the arm that comes out of the bus and probably those lights over there I might have to get rid of them or I have to change the color they cannot be red because that's uh, school stuff but other than that I think the the whole thing you know I think it is good man you know and this is the uh, the things that I like to and the, the thrive about it you know I really believe that your business has to roam like a what do you call it? Um, a rubber band. Why a rubber band? A rubber band stretches, and you have to run your business like it's stretching constantly. You know, get accounts, um, make your business grow, not to the point that you can even handle it, but to the point that it's you doing the the max for your for your business. And I, and, you know, and that's the way to do it. You know, I think that boss, you know, it's the next level for the guys. You know, I will be. I'm gonna put a hitch on it and I'm gonna have a trailer behind it to carry the salt. They're probably gonna use two tons of salt per storm. And I usually use like five on my truck. I mean, it's almost seven tons per storm. Um, and guys, you know, grow, grow uh, smart, you know, make a vision, make a, uh, be smart about it, or the things that you get, or the things that you buy, and why you buying it. Uh, you buying, you want to grow because you want to buy toys. You want to buy toys because you want to grow. It's one of those things that you have to really pay attention on how you spend your money and uh, and how to grow and save every penny you can. And that's how I do it. You know, we save it. We don't owe, you know, the bits, the debt that we have, they're very small or very minimum. 
which would make it, you know, to a quarter of a million dollars. This year we passed that already, so, and it's not the end of the year. So guys, good luck and have a nice day. And if you like videos like that, I guess, you know, subscribe. Bye.